Hey everyone, it's Brian from Pointy Hills Hyundai. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the 2022 Hyundai Santa Fe. Now, this one is the calligraphy, so we're gonna be taking a look at the paddle shifters and how that works. Now, these are found on the higher trims of the Santa Fe, so it just goes over uh, what they actually do and the functionality of them. All right, folks, so paddle shifters are gonna be found behind the steering wheel in a position in which it'll be very easy for your hands to actually touch. So in this case, we're gonna look at the steering wheel and it's found behind uh, both left and right. Now there will be indicators on the left paddle and the right paddle as a minus and a plus. So what, the way you wanna think about it is in a sports car or a gasoline car, um, you're gonna be low, looking at lower shifts and higher shifts. So very much like a manual transmission car, it'll be uh, gears one, two, three on the lower end and then four, five, six on the higher end. Now, the way it'll work is when you have it in drive, now let's just say we're, on, we're cruising and whatnot. If it's in regular drive, as soon as you touch the paddle shifter, it'll actually show you on the display uh, what gear you're in or what mode you're in. Um, it'll allow you to transfer between the gears very much like a manual transmission car to kind of give you more uh, of a sense of you driving the car and you, you're handling uh, the transmission and the speeds. Um, now, if you are talking about a electric car, those cars also come with paddle shifters as well, as well as uh, plugins and regular hybrids. Now, the difference is gonna be that on the electric cars, these paddle shifters are actually for uh, regenerative braking. So in, for example, Kona EVs and uh, all electrics, when you press on the lower gears, it'll show you levels zero, one, two, and three. So the different levels between the regenerative braking allows you to uh, have if you're in a lower speed, which is let's go with zero or one, have no brake force, meaning when you let go of the brake, it'll just continue to go. And when you're at a higher one, which would mean you're putting the paddle shifter at a higher rate, so let's go with level two and three, uh, that would give you extreme regenerative braking, which means as soon as you let go of the, uh, of the brake, it'll start to completely slow down for you. So that's gonna be the differences in the paddle shifters between a gasoline and an all electric vehicle. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you guys have any other questions or concerns, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching.